over the last few years here on the channel. I've had several spirited discussions with people about the pros and cons of batoning with a knife or really about using a knife for, for any sort of multiple purposes that the knife is not designed to use. Um, well, in this video, we're going to take a look at a tool from Rogan Tools that is absolutely designed to accomplish all those purposes and keep your knife for the knife stuff that you want to do. I'm talking about the Rogan Tools Scout. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. And Mike Rogan from Rogan Tools was kind enough to send me one of his Scout multi-purpose tools so I could show it to you. And the way this came about, by the way, was I actually had somebody uh, leave a comment uh, suggesting I take a look at this tool. And if it was you, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. I get so many emails and comments, but I got in touch with Mike Rogan and he was kind enough to send me one so I could check it out and show it to you. And I think the, uh, I like the concept behind this tool. Basically what this is designed for is to allow you to uh, do all the stuff that many of us do with our knives without destroying our knives. And it's, um, we'll talk a little bit about the story of this as we go along, but I think it's a pretty cool tool. And we're gonna take a closer look at it right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Hog Holsters, the concealed carry holster I wear every single day. And I'm proud to call John Abbott of Hog Holsters not only one of my sponsors, but one of my very best friends. John still makes every holster individually by hand with a kind of craftsmanship that is rarely found in this day and time. And the viewers of this channel can save 10% on any purchase at Hog Holsters over $30 by using the coupon code Survival on Purpose, all one word. So I encourage you to check out Hog Holsters. I don't think you'll be disappointed. That's Hog Holsters helping Americans wear guns. Okay, we are back. So with no more rambling, let's get down to the old stump top and get to doing some of that Rogan tool stuff. Okay, here is the Rogan Scout. It is 100% made in the USA. It is seven and three quarter inches long, three sixteenths of an inch thick, made of straight up medium carbon steel with an acid stone wash finish. Don't ask me what kind of steel it is because Mike just said it was medium carbon steel. This thing is not really designed to hold an edge, so it's just a, a good solid chunk of steel. It comes with your choice of six different colors of paracord wrap and uh, it's designed to fit right into a standard Molly loops or it will fit an SE3 sheath so that's basically what specs there are for this thing let's get to doing some of that rogan tool stuff uh, we're going to do some stuff with this thing like i said um, mike kind of created this company uh, he was a, a kind of a primitive minimalist backpacker and he kept breaking knives because he was trying to you know use them for a whole lot of stuff that knives are maybe not intended to be used for so he decided he'd come up with a tool for himself that would he could, he could beat, abuse, he could use it for a hammer or a chisel or a, a, a shovel or, a, or a, for, for chopping, hacking, banging, beating or whatever you want to do with it to save his knife. And his brother is a United States Marine and he was about to deploy over to either Iraq or Afghanistan or one of those, one of those sandy places over there. And he made him one of his, his original tools and, and he, and he started hearing from from his brother's friends uh, other other marines and soldiers that it was a great tool for eod and so he started making them for those guys and then he just kind of decided he'd see if he could make a business out of it and rogan tools was born so he's been in business about five years now or so and this was uh this particular tool the scout was actually kind of based on the the hori hori japanese gardening tool design um, because his, his, his eod tools are, are pretty much like more like big uh pry bars or chisels and they're straight flat on the end they're, they're kind of designed for eod stuff or urban stuff this is more of his take on an outdoor style tool that he could really use and abuse and not have to worry about uh, messing up his knife so anyway that being said we're gonna we're gonna try to put this thing through its paces and I thought about doing this on a sharp Saturday video, but it's really not sharp. And I'll tell you up front right now, we are gonna test the balance of this thing, but I'm not really optimistic about that because again, it's not sharp. It's got a, a little bit of a point on it as you can see, but it's, it's not, I don't even know if it'll, it really won't even stab in the top of the stump. It's just not, it's leaving little, little triangle shaped depressions in here, which you can't see, but, it's, but uh, I don't know that if, it'll, if it'll stick in the balance orientation or rotation device. But I'm rambling, so let me uh, 
get back up off the ground here and we'll start to doing some of that tool stuff and we'll beat the heck out of this thing and see, see, see how well it performs. Okay, so first thing I thought we'd do is go ahead. I've got a big old, just a chunk of pine here. Let me see, um, it's not really much of a sharp edge, but it does have a little bit of edge on it. We'll see how well it maybe do a little bit of chopping. It's, it's not really designed to chop, more of a chisel side on one side. So maybe instead of chopping, we'll do a little, a little bit of tining here, see how well it tines. Not bad there, kind of got up in there. Again, this is um, probably not the design intent of the tool, but because it really just doesn't have um, an edge on it. It's, it's more of a, about a 45 degree bevel, but I don't think you're gonna hurt it. So, yes, it's going to be not the uh, best use for that. So, set that aside. But what about straight up splitting batoning? Uh, well, let's just try it and see. How about that? I think it'll do pretty well at that because it's pretty thick and wide. It's got enough of a bevel on it to get it started. I got it a little short there. I think the hand guard is kind of in the way, so we can, we can knock it down a little bit more. And then we can... This is a tough piece of tough piece of cedar here too. So by the way, just look at that. We got knots, lots and lots of knots. Don't think this is going to do very much for feathers, but we'll see if see if we can get something, maybe some kind of fire prep with it. Let's see. So that part is not really very scrapey. Let's try the spine. The spine feels pretty sharp. to see how it does on the, the back side where we've got all this cedar bark here. Scrape that cedar bark off of there. Okay, on that side. And maybe some of this right here too. Why not? We got a little pile of bark, you know, cedar bark here. I don't know if this is gonna work well on fat wood or not, but we'll try some fat wood as well. It'd be scraping the fat wood pretty decent, using it like a knife, but it just scrapes instead of cuts. Okay, so there's that. Let's try something else. Got a little ferro rod here, let's just see. Pretty decent there, I have to say. And don't have to worry too much about messing up the temper of it because I don't know that there is any, but it's just a solid hunk of steel. So what other task to, could this be used for? Okay, so not too long ago, we did a comparison between two backpacking shovels. One of them was a Chinese-made aluminum shovel. The other one was a Canadian-made, I believe, plastic one. And both of them did okay. This is about where we're digging. There was a lot of roots in there. But uh, So I thought I would try this one. This seems like it's really good for digging up roots or for whatever you need to dig. So first thing we'll do is just scrape this old pine straw and stuff out of the way. There's a nice root right there. Let's just see if we can chop that sucker in half. So, yeah. And just dig us a hole here. I've read that a lot of people who uh, do these metal detecting and you know treasure hunting kind of stuff, or just you know looking out for cool stuff, they use these a lot because they're really uh, tough and hardy. You got rocks in the way or whatever, it's not a big deal. And 
can tell you that this is digging better than either of the shovels that we tried before. And this gets the job done. The, the roots don't bother it. And so it's a big old root down there. All right, well, there you go. Um, let's see if we can see what we got here. Pretty good hole. See how deep it is. And it didn't take very long at all. One thing I will say is that like, there's a pretty good size root down here. It's about, about that big around. And it's, it's not, because of the round front tip, it just kind of uh, bounces off of it. It'll I think I could chop through it eventually, but it doesn't want to go either way. Had a straight tip on a straight tip, ones, it might chop it better, but it probably wouldn't dig as good. So there's always trade offs. But great job on digging a hole. Finally, one other uh, intended use for this is to be used as kind of like a, a small hammer, maybe for, 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 for example, for you know, driving in tent stakes or whatnot. So we got a little piece of cedar here. We're not, just so we're not doing it at the same saw place. As you can see, all the way in. So pretty good there. You not no chance of breaking that. And if we need to get it back up again, that could be the tricky part. But enough of a catch to do that. So there you go. Okay, well that was a few tests, but you know. Since we have such a scientific cutting edge knife testing facility here at Survival on Purpose Worldwide Headquarters, we can't leave the testing undone. We have to test a balance on this. And I'll, again, I'll be honest with you, I'm not optimistic. Uh, it's, it just, it's, it's got a point, but it's kind of blunt. So what well, we're gonna see, right? Why not? Watch out for bounce backs. I'm trying to put enough force on it to, to get it to uh, stick if I can. I've got sun in my eyes, I can barely see. I think I'm getting too much rotation. Let me adjust my calibration. And I can see where it's, where it's sticking in, but not sticking in, if you know what I mean. I can see where it's hitting, but not sticking. I think Nolan Ryan would like my form. Okay, that was it. Okay, so that one impacted very straight on the balance orientation and rotation device. and didn't stick, so it does feel really balanced for most things. We can say this one's not aerodynamically balanced, so let's wrap this up. Okay, that was a hopefully quick and hopefully reasonably coherent look at the Rogan Tools Scout Tool from Rogan Tools, made in the USA. I like that a lot. I think this is a perfect answer for the people that have continually told me, with sometimes very passionately over the last few years, that knives are not intended to be used for this or that or the other, but only for certain things. And this can certainly save your knife for those things that knives are intended and designed to be used according to the people who are in charge of, of, of I guess, making those rules. But bottom line, I, I'm starting to get on a rant and I will stop. But this is a really handy little tool. It, it does a great job of digging, great job for splitting wood. You can use it as a little bit of a hammer. Um, it's got a bottle opener on it. it it's uh, just really, really solid. You know, I didn't think it was going to chop very well, and it didn't chop that chop very well at all. But uh, it's not intended for that. It's really intended to be, you know, a um, kind of an all-purpose bludgeoning type tool for anything, any kind of that heavy-duty stuff that you might use your knife for, but you would prefer not to take a chance of ruining it. And you can prow with this thing. You can dig with this thing. You can, uh, you can beat it through stuff. You can um, just do all sorts of heavy-duty stuff you wouldn't dare do with, with your knife. So 
I think it's handy. I like the fact it's made in the USA. And they also have some other tools. They have the more of a chisel type stuff with a flat bevel in that would probably chop through the roots a little easier, but you know, th they may not dig as good. I th think this is a, probably, you know, if you're, you need to dig a hole to uh, go to the bathroom in, or you need to uh, split out a chunk of wood, or just you know, pop some, some tent stakes in or something. It's a handy little tool. Doesn't weigh very much. Fits in Molly. Fits in an uh, SE number three sheath. And again, made in the USA. So anyway, if you want to check this out further for yourself, I'll put a link to Rogan Tools in the video description, but it's rogantools.com. And thanks again to Mike Rogan for sending me this so I can show it to you. As always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one, I invite you to go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe. Get connected with my weekly email newsletter. Every week I'll send you an email with links to older videos. And usually there's like a really older video you might not have seen before. And any news offers or deals I think you might be interested in. And finally, very often throughout the year, we do some special stuff. And, and uh, subscribers are always the first to know and sometimes the only ones to know. So anyway, I really, really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.